Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and I'm back with another episode on the Mindfighter server. It's episode two? Two. It's only been two episodes, right? I think. I think so. Um, and we're back. A lot, a lot has happened since I've last come and recorded, and I'll explain everything in just a second. Um, yeah, yeah, let's just, let's just roll the opening. <laughs> Did not make this clear last episode. Our base is right over there and right up uh, across that hill um, is our base and this is a village. Very very nice. Now what I have done because um, if you guys do not know 1.13 came out. Wait no what am I saying? 1.14.3 came out um, and in 1.14.3 updates um, you can no longer get villager 1 emerald trades. Um, so what I was doing is I was trying to get those before we updated, uh, and good thing I did, cause now we're in 1.14.3, uh, the day I start recording, we switch. Uh, so if I hadn't done that before I recorded, then it, we wouldn't have had it. Uh, so I only got that with one villager, and we're going to go back to our base, you can see it right there. And you guys see these little shacks, don't, don't mind this one, but this one and that one. And this one is our main one, and this has Bob. Bob's a librarian, and if we look, he has a one emerald trade for a mending book, which is absolutely crazy. <laughs> like, it's crazy stupid, <laughs> but I love it. Uh, and then, this is our farmer, and we haven't converted- now to get these one emerald trades, I should say first, uh, you have to convert a zombie- you have to convert a villager into a zombie villager by bringing a zombie in, and then you have to convert them back to a regular villager with a potion of weakness and a golden apple. Um, so yes, I did go to the nether and I did find a fortress and it was a lot guys I can't believe I didn't re I, I, I really wanted to record it, but I wanted to get it done as fast as possible, too uh, But anyway, yeah, I got all that stuff uh, people helped out a lot. I gave them some stuff of mine I don't really know we got crossbow if that was ever mentioned uh, But anyway, we're gonna do this guy today. We won't get like a super low trade, but we'll get a decent decent trade uh, the, uh, It still works, but it's just it's not like gonna go down super drastically, just, just a little bit. So for right now, I think the plan is to get as many potatoes as we can and make a big potato farm. Cause I think the main thing we're gonna trade with this villager over here, who's a farmer, is probably potatoes and maybe carrots. What, what do they have? Okay, you know what? Let's let's get potatoes in here. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, uh, you get oh you have to wait till nine o'clock. But if you break their station, then they'll actually like be a nitwit again and then you can place another station and then they'll become back to whatever that station is so like composter will make them into a farmer but a lecturer will make them into a librarian like this guy ah i love mending news is we have made a potato farm over here and if i just come this way you'll see here's the water and here are all the potatoes starting to grow um Great. I'm, I'm really happy with this and I also got a few baked potatoes which is also very nice. We're gonna connect those together. Um, and then the sad part is though, oh also I got dynamic lights which I, I really really like. Uh, but the sad part, our villager died. <clears throat> so basically I was trying to do that trick with the zombie thing on this guy because it still works I think. Um, but the problem is, I didn't realize that they la this doesn't actually block light from the outside. So if I slept, which I did, um, the, the, the villager, the zombie villager burnt. So, not, not great. So we're gonna go get another villager really fast. We have the village over here. Oh, oh, I do have a boat. Nice. Oh, oh, my bad. <laughs> um, I should probably sleep first, but, eh. Okay, so... If you look in here, you'll see that we finally turned our guy back into a zombie villager. So now all you, uh, you need to do if you want to do this for yourself is grab out golden apple. I, I don't have one. Okay, great. Oh, finally, I got two apples. So now we just have to go and find, um, if you want to do both villagers, 16 uh, gold. Shouldn't be too terribly hard. Let, let's go for... An, a, um, a little mining session. I don't think I'm gonna record this one. We'll probably do another one later. Um, why is my villager not here? I swear he was named Bob. He had a name tag on. 
Why is he not here? Oh my gosh. Why can't I ever just do one thing right in this game? Ah! Ah, I'm so done. I hate villagers so much. And there we go. That's 23 gold in case we ever need it. And some iron. And also I found eight diamonds. So I'm very, very happy. So let's go find another zombie and transform another villager. And then heal them and then also hopefully get another mending. Ah. Uh, Oh my gosh, usually I can't even find zombies. <laughs> what? What is happening? Why are there so many all of a sudden? Look at that. What the heck? I, I did nothing, I promise. Okay. Wowza. Wowza. Okay, so here we go. I threw down the potion and now I just feed him a golden apple and now he'll shake and hopefully in just a few seconds, he'll be good to go. Alright, so it took six, six potatoes off the price but it's something yay <laughs> so nine am oh actually i already have one so eight emeralds that's really really good okay wait my guy has uh one pumpkin for one emerald and that's amazing because i've been gathering pumpkins and i have 44 so i'm very very happy then we can also get apples from him but we'll we'll wait for him to get more stuff so after going afk for my potatoes to grow over there they're growing again and uh, of course pumpkins and whatnot so other whatnots and actually i'm gonna plant these really really fast uh so i traded my uh, little villager guy and he's a great little villager guy i love him um basically i got 25 emeralds as you see right here and if you guys want to see his new trades because he unlocked more this is what you have Trap. has i think this suspicious do is blindness and this suspicious do is jump boost question mark um so then the, he also Trap. this stuff and whatnot uh so i accidentally bought a bunch of cookies because i accidentally held down shift button and clicked and clicked i have a bad habit of that i also Trap. did the same thing with glittering melon slices um i don't want to say one other other thing but I, I don't i don't know uh, but yep, this, this is what he has and his pumpkins went up. They used to be one pumpkin for one emerald, which was amazing, but oh well um, So that's great. And now I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna go over to the village and Try to find one villager um, So that I can bring him over and breed him with the guy I have right now because what's been happening is I've been killing them I've been bringing them over and I've been killing them. I brought another one over to replace that guy killing it and it's just a continuous cycle and it's been really bad, but I think I'm finally good to go. I think I know what I'm doing now. Uh, but the problem is now there's like, the whole village is like, empty. It, it's just, it, it, it's deserted, I think. <laughs> okay, wait, there's actually one guy right here. Uh, I think this is like the only person that's left though. So let's get Boda out um, and trap him. No! Sir, no, oh, don't do that. So I got him here and this is this is what I've done. I think it's a nice little cute, you know, place. It's bigger, it's nicer, it can fit more people. So plan is to get more beds. Uh, make sure we keep this guy a farmer. So I'll place the compost once the time is correct because I accidentally destroyed it. Well, not accidentally, but you know, it was like right in the middle. So I was like, you know, just place it here. I just said accidentally for no apparent reason. Anyway, <laughs> um, so that's gonna be good. Uh, I think this guy, I'm gonna try to get mending on him again because we're gonna have plenty of emeralds now. Uh, and that's basically it. I'll start giving them food. I think at nine o'clock it is. They can start making babies. So hopefully they'll they'll like each other. Hopefully. So I believe it's as simple as they need beds and they need food. I don't know how much food they need. Um, I will have tons of potatoes soon enough. <laughs> But for right now, we'll just, we'll just give them that. No, no, you're, the other guy was supposed to take it. No. Do you like cookies? Sir, do you like cookies? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Um, golden carrots, maybe? That, that more your thing? Nope. Okay, I, I, I'll get more potatoes soon enough. 
Turns out I had like two stacks of potatoes just like laying around in the chest, so that should be enough, hopefully. I'm I'm really hoping here. Here guys, take take these potatoes. No? He took both again? Dude, do you not want potatoes? Get potatoes! Ah! Just take potatoes! <laughs> what the heck is happening? Did you, did you guys see that? What? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna place my other compost down. And see if they'll start breeding, maybe? Why? Why is there drops like that? What are they doing? And also, get away from here. And I just... Okay. They just dumped me a bunch of potatoes. I'm so confused of villagers. And I'm also gonna place a gate because I realize that baby villagers will be able to easily squeeze their way out of that. Uh, like, what was it? Like two? Uh, like one and a half pipes thing? So, yeah, maybe a gate's a good idea. I don't know exactly how to make these though. That's a fence. There, there's a gate. Okay, great. So let's go place this over there. We have a baby. There's a baby. We got one. Oh, he's so cute. Look at the little one. Oh, oh, he's so cute. I love him. Okay, so we 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 know how to do it. So let's just get a bunch of beds. Let's go find some sheep. We should be good, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> So here, I just, I'm sorry, this is totally random, but I really want to make a sheep farm now because, you know, I need beds. Um, and here's like the super duper easy design that I thought of. Basically, this is just filled up with shears. Um, and I'm sure that this design has been used hundreds and thousands of times. I just, you know, it's not that hard to make. Uh, but basically, it's just dispenser, hopper, chest. That's just filling this up with shears if it ever breaks. Right underneath here, right right here, is an observer. Uh, and this is basically just seeing if this grass block right here is has changed. Because basically, um, if a sheep, or actually we should change this, that doesn't really matter. If a sheep uh, is has no coat and then they eat a piece of grass, they'll regain their coat. But that grass will then turn into dirt. And then the observer will detect that firing this redstone, firing this dispenser, which basically shears well not basically it does shear the sheep and then it, the whole process just restarts again uh the random tick speed is set to a thousand right now so the grass will regrow really really fast hopefully we can catch this on camera i think i think i caught it on camera actually oh wait here it goes it looks like it's eating yep see and then the grass gets refilled again by this grass right next to it um oh, wow wowza okay um so that's basically how this works super duper simple um, I'll probably make a few of these, or, of course you can extend it out, give me one second. So, I mean, like, here it is expanded, it's not, it's not that complicated, <laughs> really quite easy, actually. So, honestly, the best thing you probably is to just walk back and forth like this. I tried to make a picker-up system, but it just didn't really work. I know that there's a good way to pick up items, I just really am not good at that sort of stuff yet. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, if it's functional, so we'll probably make this really soon. Uh, once again, if you guys just want to make it, you guys, it's just like the single one, except you expand it out a little bit. Um, so, yeah, there you go, and these slabs basically make it so the items can't fall out here-ish. Uh, this is, by the way, you can hear how many times it's going off. This is, by the way, at 20 ticks. This is not, like, 1,000 or whatever I had it set to earlier. Uh, anyway, let's get back onto the server. Alright, so I got another bed. I gave them some more food, so let's just hope that they'll make another baby in the future. I'm gonna go get a lectern and... Oh, let's get this guy really fast. Uh, I'm gonna go get a lectern and uh, try to get a librarian again. And make another bed if I have wood, which I do. Yay! <laughs> No, I just punched my farmer when I was trying to break the lectern, and now he hates me. Now his prices are high. And probably this guy will be too, because... Oh, actually, no, but... Well, still, that sucks, because I had cheap prices, because I turned into a zombie villager, and now he's just... Oh my gosh, finally, I got a mending guy. I'm so... Nope, I don't want that. Wait, oh, I need a book. Oh no, my mento, por favor. There we go, so now I can just click this, and mending! 
I am so happy. We'll probably put it on our sword or something. Yeah, probably our sword. Oh, also a few things happened that I didn't record because OBS was not open. Um, yeah, I got I got three diamonds after I sold the mending book to Sabrina. And she also gave me some melons so we can get those. And melons can be used to trade with our farmer because our farmer has melon trades, which is awesome. Anyways, I think it's time for a one hour mining session. So let's get right on into it. So in this time-lapse chat, I want to talk a little bit about time-lapse chats. Um, they're actually surprisingly really, really hard for me uh, to just be talking in front of a microphone and thinking about who knows what on the top of my head because I do not like write a script down or anything. I just start talking like I am now. Uh, and it's surprisingly hard actually. Uh, so basically, uh, before I do a time-lapse chat, I always want to pick a subject, obviously. I mean, that goes for it. Basically, anything that you're doing when recording. And that's probably the hardest part. Uh, so as if you guys watch a lot of my videos and actually sit through these, you'll know that I usually talk about my channel or I talk about my build, like, ideas for the future. And that's really all I talk about, which kind of is sad. Um, so... This, this might sound sad, but I, I kind of want your guys' help on time-lapse chats. Um, just go down to the comic set, comment, uh, comments comment section and just just go put in something that you'd like me to talk about. Because <laughs> that like actually really, really help me out for next video. Because if I have like an actual like a subject that I feel comfortable talking about for a long period of time, then I can just go on and on and on and be totally good. Uh, but like... Just regular time-lapse chats where I'm like, I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what I'm saying, what's happening. Those are really hard, kind of like this one right here, honestly. Um, but anyway, that that's enough of me rambling on. Let's go back into the video. Well, I'm just going to stop there because I'm already up at the surface. I did some other things, but in total, I like was recording for 50 minutes. Um, I'm so disappointed. I got like four I'm uh, four diamonds I got other uh, wait yeah I just got four diamonds so I'm very disappointed with that I got like four stacks of iron about that some was cooking some still in here um, I got some lapis some redstone whatnot oh um, gold but only only four diamonds so I'm very disappointed now I'm actually gonna get this uh, smith thing table I don't know what it's called uh, and I'm gonna try to get this guy, our one, okay, yep, here we go. I'm gonna see what he will get if I keep on maxing out his trades. I guess we're gonna buy, be buying a lot of axes. <laughs> oh, great, and shovels, apparently. Well, that was a waste of emeralds and iron, because I trade a lot of this. Um, but, I mean, we got efficiency 2 and breaking 2 pick. Silk touch, sap, shovel, efficiency one, axe. Uh, I'm not exactly what I was hoping for. But anyway, guys, that's all I have time for today, sadly. Um, so really fast, one thing that I really do have to mention is that I got a looting three, sharpness three, mending sword. And that's because Murky gave it to me for two diamonds, which was an incredibly great deal. I've also gained a good amount of diamonds. I have 15 now uh, because of just sales from bones, arrows, um mending books, stuff like that. Uh, but I also have spent a good amount on just stuff. Oh, shulkers, yeah. Um, that brings me on to my next subject, which is the end. It has been opened, and that's awesome, because now we can get a light show. We're probably gonna do that either next episode, or I'll probably do a stream, actually. Uh, but also, if we go to spawn really fast, you'll see this shop right here. And this is actually mine, Beeston's, and Desert Rose's shop. Um, and we're going to be selling elytra, I don't know why they call them wings, that's just sad, um, shulker boxes, and also rockets. So Beeston and Rose are going to be doing the rockets. I'm going to be doing the shulkers and the elytra because those are my favorite, like, end busting I really enjoy doing. So uh, I'm excited for that. I'll probably be streaming most end busting things, or maybe time lapse it. Um, but I think that's basically it. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos on the Mindfighter server, then please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And be sure to hit that uh, notification button too if you want to get notified every single time that I post a new video. 
Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.